sometimes called the calendar stone, but more accurately called the sunstone. It's become a modern-day emblem of Mexican culture. It looks like a sun. It's got a circular shape. It has rays emanating out. But in actuality, when we look closely, it's an incredibly complicated object. This would have been originally painted, which would have helped pick out the motifs that you're seeing here. And it wouldn't have been up on the wall. No, it most likely would have been placed horizontally on the ground. And as you see, it was unfinished. There are protrusions of uncarved rock that we see on the top and to the left. So in the center, let's start there. I see a rather gruesome looking face with deep set eyes and a wide mouth and on either side hanging down what look like ear ornaments. He's wearing ear spools and within that open mouth you see the tongue protruding out that's actually an anthropomorphized sacrificial blade. The ear spools were decorations that Aztec elite would wear. So who is that? So this figure, this face, and if you look to the sides you also see that he has clawed hands and he's holding something, possibly human hearts. There have been various interpretations of who this individual actually is, and most people identify him as the sun god Tonatiu, which is the Nahuatl word for this sun god. And Nahuatl is the name of the language spoken by the Nahua people, or the Aztecs. The Aztecs were part of this larger ethnic group of the Nahua. So what this records with this figure in the center, what the disc itself records, is this origin of the cosmos as the Aztecs saw it. This stone relates to one of the main Aztec myths, essentially the creation of of the various eras, or as they call them, suns. And so what we're seeing here is a record, a, a cataclysmic history of, of previous eras and then the current era under which we live. So the current era is actually...